Welcome to Networking Rx, a podcast devoted to helping business professionals like you enhance your networking skills in order to become more proficient giving and receiving quality business referrals and improving the overall quality of your life and the lives of those around you. The Networking Rx podcast is a production of AmSpirit Business Connections, an organization whose mission is to empower business success through networking. People ask me all the time how I built such a big productive network, a massive productive network. And my answer is pretty simple, is that I've helped other people build a network. And by helping other people build a network, it's really kind of fed into myself being able to build a network. And there really are a number of benefits to uh, to what I call introductions, just introducing people in, in our network. And I, I remember years ago, there was a guy that I was, uh, that I was associated with. And this was back when I was practicing law and he was what I would call a broker. He, um, he would never really introduce me to somebody, but he would kind of be the go between. There was a lot of value in connecting me with somebody else but he didn't want to give up that control. And so he was kind of always controlling things, uh, controlling communications. And this is all pre-email. It was really kind of annoying after a while because it just, you would, you would, you'd have to wait for, you'd have to wait for the go-between to get information back and forth. And, um, you know, ultimately I just kind of parted company from that situation because it was, it was, um, it, well, it was annoying. <laughs> just no other way to put it. Um, and it just wasn't a good use of time. Um, and, you know, even I was even doing work for this third party who I've never met. Um, but there was always I was never billing that third party. I was billing the middleman, the broker. And then he was sending bills on that were uh I don't know. I don't know what he was doing, um, but it just was kind of annoying. I'm more prone to the notion of not being a broker of people, but just kind of introducing them and getting out of the way. Um, now, arguably, this other guy was somewhat savvy because he was making money on my efforts. Uh, I was working. He was marking up my work and passing it on. And, and you know, that's fine. Um, it's a lot to manage. You have to manage a lot of different things to make that work. I'm more of the mind that I'm just going to introduce people and let them deal with it and just trust that things will come back to me. So what I want to do is I want to talk quickly about five benefits of, of making connections, of making these introductions. I call it creating triads, uh, if you will. You're here, you have, you, know, you have two people and you're just introducing those two people. Um, the first potential benefit with respect to making introductions is, is that it's free. Um, I call it free altruism. You can, you're essentially, when, whenever I introduce two people, um, I am, I'm really benefiting them both. I'm really giving to both of them. It's, you know, it could be somebody needing the services of another, the person who's providing the services, they're getting a client and the person who is, becomes the client they're certainly, uh, you know, I've saved them the trouble of having to try and find somebody reputable. Um, and so there's really no cost to that for me to do that, to help these two people. And then I have these two people out there that, you know, are, I don't want to say beholden to me, um, but they, they recognize the value of what's been done. And sometimes it's not a client, you know, a, a client service sort of a situation, it might be just simply a situation where I'm introducing two people and they kind of run in the same circles, but do different things. And so they're neither one is going to hire the other, but they see the value in what that can do for them. And, and that's free. There's no cost to it. Arguably. Yeah. It takes a little bit of time, but when, once you get in the, get into the habit of doing these sorts of things, uh, I'll get off on a zoom, uh, get off a zoom call and I'll be able to in short order, make a couple quick introductions and I'm out of the way and I let those people do whatever they're going to do. And it, uh, it doesn't cost me, uh, doesn't cost me anything to do that. Um, the second thing is, is it's really kind of an endless source of altruism. 
you know, there's lots of there's lots of opportunities to connect people if you stop and think about it. Uh, in a, in the future, I'll do a program and I will show where there are the, you have the opportunity to make about a half a million introductions based on the number of people that you know. Um, it's a staggering number. And everybody who comes into your life, there's another opportunity for you to make an introduction. So in other words, if you know 100 people and somebody new comes into your life, uh, theoretically, there's 100 introductions that you can make. And so most of us have networks that are much bigger than that. Um, and, you know, there's so there's a lot of opportunity. In fact, what I find is a challenge for me is when I meet somebody new, I might in my mind say, wow, I could probably introduce them to, you know, 15 people. Um, and that's just a lot. That's a lot to dump on somebody. And it's a certain, you know, all of a sudden it becomes more of a burden on my end. So what I try to do is I try to pick maybe two or three, sometimes only one. Hey, here's the here's the really best of these connections. But my point in in this uh, in the second bullet point is is that there's there's really no end to it. Um, if you're committed to making introductions, you will always have something that you can contribute to your network. Um, and so I never I never run uh, I never really run out of opportunities to help other people. Um, the third benefit of making introductions is that you get to brand yourself as being altruistic. Um, being, you know, being that person, that giver. I have people who will reach out to me and will just say, wow, you know, I really appreciate the time you've put into it. You are, you're a giver. I have people in my network uh, that are prolific inter, uh, at introducing me to people. And that's how I view them. I view them as givers. Um, you know, one of the, you know, one of the, a couple, a couple people come to mind. Uh, Sajad Hussein, um, Berta Medina, and I know I'm going to miss some people, Michelle Murder, um, Bethany George. Those are four people that um, are, you know, continually, um, um, continually connecting me to people. And um, that's how I look at them. I look at them as givers. And if you're willing to become that introducer of people, you be, get branded that way as well. Um, and I've had people who reach out to me and say, I know, you know, lots of people. I know you're willing to help. I'm trying to get a book published or I'm trying to do this. I had somebody email me this morning. They're looking for an angel investor. Um, you know, do I have the do I have the solution? I don't know that I have the solution, but I know somebody who might have the solution. And so it's just a question of, you know, kind of making these introductions and seeing where they go. The other thing that happens with respect to um being somebody who is prolific at making introductions is you empower reciprocity um and what i mean by this is that when when you help other people through introductions they feel compelled to do the same and you know I, you know i look at like bethany george for example she's certainly introduced me to a lot of wonderful people well i my ears and eyes are open for her as well and trying to make introductions. And so if you're willing to lean into this notion of, hey, I'm just gonna introduce people, those people are gonna turn around and return the favor. It's just human nature. And so you really set yourself up to do good for yourself in the long term by making these introductions. And then the last benefit of making these introductions is, is that it really becomes a catalyst for opportunities. When you're making introductions, you're you you're creating you're creating uh, activity within your broader network, if you will. And that net that activity that will create opportunities for you. Here's a good example. <clears throat> uh, had somebody come to me and they're writing a book and they need some help getting the book written. And I know people who do those sorts of things. Um, and I won't get into all of it, but they, you know, they do the whole thing they, from ghostwriting to getting it published to getting it distributed the whole nine yards. And some people do all of that and some are good at little pieces along the way, but none of that is me. I'm not good at any of that. I'm not good at any of those details. So I just connected the person on to get them going with their book. Well, as time went on, I had it, they reached back out to me, the person, the person trying to write a book and said, Hey, 
you know, I would like for you to, you know, help me with, you know, uh, what I'm getting, the book is moving along, you know, can you write a chapter for me or can you, you know, give me a recommendation or can you do this? Um, and so my name will appear on inside of books or I'll, there'll be a whole chapter in a book that I've written. And those opportunities would not have happened if I would have just said, yep, I don't do anything with books. Like there's nothing I can do to help you. But by connecting somebody on, there's this book opportunity out there that I get to participate in. Um, likewise, it's, you know, that goes on and on, um, you know, depending upon it's, you know, not just books, but it might be networking events or people who are, you know, uh, you know, once they've connected and they've got something going, uh, um, there's, you know, there's something that you can be involved in. I have, I have, um, I have a couple of people out there that I, that uh, have met through my efforts uh, in getting married, getting invited to weddings. I guess those are opportunities. But there, the, the point is, is there's a tremendous amount of opportunities um, associated, or a tremendous amount, a tremendous amount of benefits associated with just making introductions. You know, again, you know, the, uh, you know, free altruism. There's no end to what you can do for other people, and you're really you know, branded as being altruistic, um, and you set yourself up to receive things, you know, people making introductions for you. And then the final thing is, is it just creates opportunities for you to, um, for you to participate in because you've set in motion this catalyst of, of uh, ideas and information from, from these connections. Um, so those are the, you know, those are the, the, uh, the quick benefits of making introductions. Thanks for joining us on the Networking Rx podcast. Please put what you've learned into action today and let us know if you have questions, comments, or ideas for future topics. You can email them to us at podcast at amspirit.com. That's A-M-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. Finally, so you never miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Networking Rx podcast through iTunes, Overcast, or however you receive your podcasts. Now get out and network with someone. The Networking Rx podcast is the copyright production of Amspirit Business Connection. All rights reserved.